Okay, as a first example, let's define the business model of Nespresso. What's the value proposition of Nespresso? It's to offer the best coffee at home. As good as the coffee in the best cafe in Roma. That's the idea. And this value proposition consists of mainly of two different products. The first one is the Nespresso machine, the other one are the capsules. They have two different distribution strategies for reaching the customers. First, for the machines, they use the retailers for reaching the households and <coughs> eventually the businesses. And this generates a revenue coming from the machine sales. But most of this revenue goes directly to the machine manufacturers which are key partners for Nespresso since the beginning. For the Nespresso capsules, the story is a little bit different. They use their own channels. They use the mail order for reaching the customers, or the website, or they, you can also find, no, much more recently, the Nespresso stores that you have in most of the big cities in the world. And those channels is a key resource for Nespresso because they have this ability to reach the customers through this, those direct distribution channels. When you bought a machine, you have to come back to Nespresso for buying the capsule. So it means that you have a kind of lock-in strategy if you want. So it means it's much more difficult for you to change your uh, company if you want to buy those capsules because you have to buy the capsules of Nespresso to put those capsules in the machines. And you can reinforce this using for example the Nespresso Club for keeping the relationship with the customers. And <coughs> you can uh, have this kind of strategy because also you have in in your, on your resource size the patterns. And based on this, <coughs> you have the repetitive sales coming from those capsules, which is the main revenue for Nespresso. This is for the right-hand side, the value side of the business model. On the left-hand side, means on the backstage if you want, you have different resources and activities. One of them is the coffee. You can reach the coffee and so it means that you have some partnership with the coffee growers, which is normal for the Nestle uh, business. And <coughs> when you buy those coffee, you have to put that inside the capsules. So it means that Nespresso want to keep this manufacturing activity. So it means you have one of the main key activities, which is the production, and they have the production facilities able to produce millions of capsules per day and it has a cost. You have some other activities which is related to the marketing and branding activity and branding resources which has a cost. And the last activity is the distribution or the logistic because you have to reach those customers with this direct distribution. So it means that you have the third activity which is the distribution activity which has a cost which is the cost related to this logistics activity. This is the business model of Nespresso. <coughs>